I'm a huge fan of growing vertically. When there isn't much space down here, it makes sense to grow your fruits and vegetables upwards to really make the most of it. Arches like this one are a very efficient, not to mention attractive way of growing vining vegetables such as squashes. In this video, we'll show you how we adapted two very cheap off-the-shelf garden arches to make this sturdy support. Like any vertical growing method, vegetable arches are a great way to make better use of the space you have. Traditionally sprawling vegetables such as squashes take up a lot of ground, so trending them upwards frees soil space for other crops. There are of course many ways to grow vertically. Trellising offers excellent support for squashes, cucumbers, peas and beans. Or grow vining vegetables up wigwams, hugging pergolas or against netting. Alternatively, containers of produce can be attached to walls. Think pots or troughs of herbs, and hanging baskets brimming with salads, tomatoes or strawberries. Vegetable arches are particularly versatile. Set them up to frame a path, or join several arches together to create a stunning living focal point. Natural materials such as hazel can be flexed and tied together to form a beautiful rustic arch. This arch is made from bamboo canes, tied together with horizontals, then joined at the top using pieces of plastic PVC piping. If you already have a garden arch, it's very easy to adapt it for vining vegetables and fruits, which is what we're going to do now. Our vegetable arch starts with two self-assembled arches. The arches are made from powder-coated steel, so they shouldn't rust. They are very easy to put together using the accompanying instructions, and they can easily be moved or dismantled in the future. Once assembled, push the completed arches about 16 inches or 40 centimetres into the ground, making sure it's firmly packed down as they'll need to be strong on windy days once covered in leaves. If you wish, you can check they are perfectly vertical using a spirit level so that heavy squashes won't overbalance them. We're tying our two arches together with cable ties. This will make the whole structure extra rigid. Add cable ties at each horizontal bar and cut away the excess for a tidy finish. The arch would suffice as it is now for climbing beans, perhaps with bamboo canes pushed in and tied to the sides for a little extra support, but the squash we're growing need more to grip hold of. This galvanised wire mesh left over from a previous project is perfect. You could also use chicken wire, wire netting, mesh panels or cattle panels. Cut the wire mesh to size using wire cutters. Wear gloves while you're doing this to avoid any scratches. There's enough mesh here to clad just over 6 feet or 2 metres of both sides of the arch. Attach the mesh with cable ties or heavy duty garden wire. Secure the mesh at regular intervals along the arch's horizontal and vertical supports. The mesh doesn't quite reach the top of our arch, so we're going to create additional supports using heavy duty wire. You could also use thick garden string. Securely tie one end of the wire to the front of the arch and then spool out the wire horizontally across the arches, tying it to the middle vertical supports. When you get to the other end of the arch, tie it into position, then run it up the support about 6 inches or 15 centimetres. Tie it into place, then return to the front of the arch. Tie it in, run it up another 6 inches or 15 centimetres, then head back to the opposite side. Repeat this process until you reach the top of the other wire mesh. We're now ready to plant, and for this arch we've chosen two stunning varieties of winter squash. By the end of summer they will have completely cloaked the arch and will look incredible. Add plenty of well-rotted compost to the planting area. Set your squash plants into position and lean the stems up against the mesh. Water them in really well. You may need to loosely tie the stems to start with, but they'll soon find their own way up. I'm sure you'll agree that a vegetable arch like this one will look just stunning once it's cloaked in foliage and dangling fruits. Now if you've got another way of creating a vegetable arch or vertical supports, please let us know about it below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our video channel, well why not consider doing so? We'd love you to join our community of very friendly and like-minded gardeners. I'll catch you next time.